So what's going on guys? Installed the secondary battery. I know the wiring is all over the place. Looks like a fire hazard. But anyways, I got it all hooked up. So I'm gonna demo for y'all. So I got a 1500 uh, mono block amplifier from Twist Audio and I got a 200 by four uh, four channel for Massive. And I got two of the Twist Audio 12s. It's a brand from Houston. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the difference a lot of the times when I would uh, play my music full tilt, I look at the voltmeter and it'd be dropping to nine, 10. And when it drops to nine, my amp seems to cut off. So I'm gonna show y'all the difference. I still got a regular lead acid battery in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a song for y'all and let y'all see the voltage. <laughs> So as y'all can see, uh, the lowest it would go was about 11.8, which is a way bigger difference from nine volts shutting off. So now that my voltage is like staying at a reasonable height, it's still not as high as I want it to be. But hey, my amps ain't shutting off no more because back when I didn't have that secondary battery, it would shut off when I played full tilt with bass all the way up. So I definitely recommend you getting the second battery. It's a lot cheaper than getting like an excess power marine battery. Just get you a, like a crank it up like I have. Basically a, a off-brand kinetic. So make sure you get an isolator too because that's definitely recommended because if you don't have an isolator, they can uh, pull off of each other and drain both of the batteries, especially if you have an AGM compared to like a, a lead acid in the, in the front like I do. If you have two different types of batteries, you definitely want to have to have an uh, isolator. So I hope that helps y'all. Uh, I also, I'll leave a link to the video on how I installed all this. So peace out y'all.